Ooh, what's that? It looks lovely. It does look lovely, doesn't it? This is Lumino City. It's a point and click adventure set in a beautiful cardboard world. It's the sequel to the Bronze Award winning Loom, if you remember that from back in 2012. I remember that, yeah. It was good, but kind of short. It, yeah, it was good, but yeah, you're right, it was short. Lumino City doesn't really have that problem though. While Loom felt like a taster game, this is a fully fledged adventure that's all about finding your granddad and dribbling a bit about just how good looking it is. I do like the dribbling. Okay, weird. The game has been out on a variety of other platforms for a while now, but it's been ported pretty successfully to iOS. Well, point and clicks do usually work pretty well on touchscreens. They do, and that's mainly because your finger replaces the mouse pointer. It's not without its problems, and it can get a little fiddly, but not so bad that you're going to try and scrunch up your iPad in disgust. So it's tap to move about then? Yep, you tap to scamper around the startlingly good looking environments. You tap to interact with puzzle objects as well. There are buttons to push, objects to find, and pieces to put in the correct place as you make your way through the game. So are the puzzles all esoteric object combiners? Nah, we're not talking late 80s levels of point and click obfuscation here. Everything is reasonably straightforward. Well, sort of straightforward. Using lemons to make an electrical circuit, you know, that sort of straightforwardness. Yeah, I often use lemons to make electrical circuits. Okay, remind me not to turn on any lights in your house. This is a more relaxed take on the genre. Things flow by at a pleasantly sedate pace, and while some of the puzzles will have you scratching your head, you're unlikely to scratch it until it's raw and bloody. I do hate it when that happens. Yeah, I know, me too. All in all, this is a lovely piece of escapism. It's a technological marvel, it's sweet without being saccharine, and it's a really pleasant way to waste a few dreamy hours. Yeah, it's got some pacing issues, and like I said, the controls aren't perfect, but it's still a lot of fun. Okay, recommend this to me then. Uh, I, I basically just did, but yeah, this isn't your typical app store game, and it's all the better for it. Basically, if you've not played Luminosity elsewhere, this is well worth a purchase.